mother from Sussex who almost died after her cosmetic surgery abroad was botched is warning others not to risk their own lives by opting for cheap operations overseas. Sue Bridick from Sayers Common near Burgess Hill had breast and stomach surgery in Turkey at half the price that it would have been here. Well, she suffered life-threatening infections and complications that are still requiring NHS treatment at the Queen Victoria Hospital in East Grinstead. She's spoken exclusively to our reporter, Claudia Sebasis, but her report contained some graphic images. So when I got back from Turkey, that's the condition I was in. And This was the result of Sue Bridick's tummy tuck in Turkey. After having a family, she'd worked hard to lose three stone, so she decided to treat herself to the op. It was too expensive to do here, so she went abroad. The woman that I spoke to in Turkey said, well, why don't you have, you know, breasts done as well? Because it's included in the price. Um, so I booked it for just after my 50th birthday. Straight after the operation, it was obvious something was wrong. And they took the dressing off and just gasped and stood back. So obviously I said, you know, what's wrong? Is there something wrong? It is normal, it's fine. That's all they said. But it wasn't normal. She'd contracted necrosis and the skin on her stomach went black. Most of the photos are too graphic for us to show. In agony, Sue flew back to the UK and spent a month in hospital. She was treated by consultant plastic surgeon Charles Nduka at the Queen Victoria Hospital in East Grinstead. Sue's condition was potentially life-threatening. Had the infection continued to spread and without the help of intravenous antibiotics, she could have died. She had wounds with dead skin on her abdomen and on her breasts and she had to have repeated surgery to remove the dead skin and eventually to have a skin graft to get the wounds healed. According to a recent survey, one in ten patients who travel abroad for cosmetic surgery need assistance from the NHS when arriving home. Almost half of those are under the age of 30 and 90% of cosmetic surgery tourism websites fail to publish any information about risks. If you've had surgery with a hospital or a clinic or a surgeon abroad, who's going to take care of you when you come back to the UK? There are so many potential pitfalls, it's unbelievable. It causes uh, an unnecessary use of beds, an unnecessary use of, of doctor's time, nurse's time and resources, and uh, clearly this isn't appropriate. The best advice that I can tell you is to stay in your own country. If you can't afford it, you have to wait a bit longer. It cost Sue £4,000, half the price of the cost here, but it took her a year to recover and she is still badly scarred. Claudia Sebezis, BBC South East Today, Henfield.